Howdy y'all, I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you guys are safe and I hope you guys are healthy. My name is Josh and I absolutely love clothing and personal style and fashion. If you're into that type of content, feel free to subscribe to me on YouTube as well as follow me on Instagram at wears underscore Galdo. But today I wanted to bring you guys a video about a jacket that I think I've seen a lot on social media as of late and one that I think is really good for the upcoming um, summer, maybe colder summer nights, but it is a jacket that is super super popular has been popular for a very long time now it is the ffa uniform jacket essentially um, i'll talk about it a little bit more the history behind it i think it injects a really good amount of youthful americana into any outfit and let me explain as to why before i bore you guys with the history of this jacket i wanted to go ahead and go over the details of the, my jacket itself there's a lot of variation that exists with these jackets because these jackets have been around for basically a hundred years. So right off the bat, blue corduroy body, very, very nice, very uniform looking. Uh, over time, it tends to fade. So a lot of older um, FFA jackets will kind of have a faded blue look, whereas this one's a pretty rich blue. And I real I'm not usually a big fan of navy, but that's really the color that is associated with these jackets is the navy blue corduroy. On the left chest here, you have the FFA insignia right there. On the other side, this is going to be actually the name of whoever was in the organization. This is Carlos Alvarez here. I have no idea who that is, but I don't mind wearing someone else's name on my jacket. We have a YKK brass zipper over coming at the bottom of the lapel. The lapel is very wide and fans out a lot, which is kind of indicative of the time frame that it's from. This one, I believe, is from the early 80s, maybe prior to that, but I know the earliest iterations have buttons instead of a zipper. It has two front pockets that are just, you know, run-of-the-mill pockets. Over on the side, we have a side cinch to kind of crop it more at the waist, but how it fits is uh, pretty cropped in the body and wide in the chest. Mine is in a size 44, which I would equate to a regular size large. Over on the sleeves, you have a construction very similar to like trucker jackets and stuff, a button closure right over here at the end of the cuff. And the best part or the best, most prominent detail of this jacket, you can kind of see it peeking through, is the back. So mine, it says California at the top, gigantic FFA insignia, just like most are associated with. And then at the bottom, mine has Coachella Valley embroidered in gold thread. It is an unlined jacket, so it is actually kind of thin. So it is actually super good for like the warmer summer nights. I keep saying the name FFA, FFA, but what exactly is the FFA? So the FFA is a student organization, primarily for students that are in high school or American high school which is about ages 14 to 18 like roughly and it is a student organization focused on the development and growth of students aspiring to work to contribute to the agricultural industry and foster leadership within the youth of America and FFA is an acronym that stands for Future Farmers of America. They don't really use Future Farmers of America because they don't want to exclude the various different industries that also contribute to agriculture such as like sciences, doctors, and things like that. So it is actually a very wide and broad category. Future Farmers of America is kind of what we're referring to when we say FFA. Now this organization has been around for a very, very long time, almost a hundred years now at the time of me recording this. Um, it was established in 1928 and they do have uniforms that are, you know, as most other student organizations do, have uniforms to didn't like to portray themselves in a more organized way. And so this blue corduroy jacket actually came about and started being used by the FFA in 1933. So very similar to how the military displays their accolades and ribbons on their uniforms, this also comes with a bunch of pins, or mine also came with a bunch of pins that the original owner um, had earned while in the organization. And just a couple to show you guys, and to date, or this is how I eventually ended up dating the um, jacket itself, is the earliest pin that I have here is this one right here from 19... 
1985. This one is for Partners for Progress 1985, which is pretty cool to see that. I also have these right here. I don't know if it'll focus, but it is denoting different like categories in which this person had participated. This one's for Swine Production and Star Green Hand. To be quite honest, I don't know what most of these mean, but uh, this is another one. Uh, Agricultural Council of California, right over here. This is another one from 1992. And then another basic FFA pin right over here. It did come with actually a whole lot more. It came with a whole set of them, which is really cool. So the three different pins that you were to put on your jacket is uh, the highest degree earned, highest office held, and highest award earned. And I mean, am I actually going to do that and follow their like uniform rules? Absolutely not. I was, uh, yeah, disclaimer, I was never a part of the student organization. So I'm just learning all about this. And I got a lot of this information from the uh, official organization's website. As for history, that's all I really got for you guys. Um, this jacket represents a really cool piece of American youth culture, especially back in the day over like actually just about a hundred years ago. So that's why I think it really gives or injects like a feeling of um, Americana and youth into an outfit. And I'm actually really lucky to have found this. Here's the tag. It's kind of hard to read sometimes, but there's the tag right there. It's dry clean only. Um, this tag is like completely just gone. There's nothing really on there except for handwritten size 44. For jacket sizing, um, it's kind of in line with regular jacket sizing in modern times. I am a regular like size large to XL for my tops and uh, the size 44 fits me really well. And I'm really glad to be able to have found this one because considering that these jackets were made for uh, individuals who are in high school, so 14 to 18, I am considerably bigger than most high school children. If you guys are interested in picking one up for yourself, definitely check vintage secondhand websites, Depop, Grailed, eBay, there will definitely be a wealth of them and at a lot of varying different price points. And those price points are determined by both condition as well as location. And what I mean by location uh, is that there will always be the state over up on top and then the more specific area on bottom. I've never actually seen a California and Coachella Valley one, which is why I'm super happy to pick this up. I purchased mine from a local vintage seller in Las Vegas, My Tight Pants, shout out to him, really cool dude, and uh, was able to get this plus the pins for a really good price. Now to give you guys a little bit of styling tips, I would definitely keep it within the vintage Americana lane. So vintage denim, blue denim, dark blue denim, uh, cowboy boots, derbies, things that are sometimes even Western wear would actually look pretty cool with this. One thing that I would say to try and avoid is definitely make sure your shirt isn't too long for the jacket because it's a crop jacket. If your shirt extends a little too far below the bottom hem of the jacket, it can look a little wonky but all in all, very easy jacket to actually style. I definitely suggest picking one up for you guys out there who want to expand their Americana, but don't want to go with the typical like trucker jackets or denim jackets. This is a great alternative to that. And it is really good for like spring, summer, in the fall, um, before it gets too cold because it is a really, really nice light outer layer. And that about wraps up all I have to kind of, all the information that I have to share with you guys about this jacket. Really excited to incorporate this into my wardrobe. It's quite a bit more colorful than I go for, but I think history-wise intrigues me so much that and that's why I kind of wanted to buy this jacket. So let me know what you guys think about this one. Um, I appreciate your guys' time as always. Thank you so much for rocking with me for so long. And um, until my next video, I'll catch you guys later.